Hi, my name is Samuel Knickerbocker. I'm a wealth transformation coach and I help families and individuals build a stronger financial foundation by teaching them millionaire habits, behaviors, and mindsets to build a legacy that's meaningful to them. One summer day, I was actually driving with my grandpa, driving down the road, windows down, and we had the radio on. And my grandpa reached over, turned down the radio, and put his hand on my knee. He said, you know what, Sam? You have a voice that's just really pleasant to listen to. You could probably use it to, to lift others up and, and bring happiness to them. Maybe even be on the radio someday. And then he just turned the radio back up and we went on our way. That was the first time I really remember somebody truly believing in me. You see, growing up in a family of 11 kids, I'm the seventh, money was always really, really tight. My parents did the best they could working odd jobs, but with little stability. It seemed like they were stuck in survival mode, trying anything they could to just find a shortcut to financial success. We, in fact, we actually moved into a house that had been condemned due to a faulty foundation, just trying to save money. Um, it turns out that would be a great a metaphor for my life and my financial habits moving forward. By the time I was 18, I decided, and I want to go out and make a ton of money, so I decided to go do summer sales selling pest control. And I, in my first year, I earned half of my dad's yearly income. But because of my lack of financial foundation, I ended up spending it all before I was even paid. The next year, I went out and I decided, oh, I'm going to double my income. And I, I did, but still had nothing to show for it because I didn't understand money. Later, studying neuropsychology, I found that one of the major contributors to depression, anxiety, and divorce was really just the lack of understanding of how money worked and how to use it. This struck way too close to home. I had lived a life of poverty. I had lived through the depression and anxiety that comes from financial stress. I had told myself, you can't afford it. What would people think of you if you had money? It's too much effort. Nobody will want to follow you. But what was I really saying to myself? Samuel, you're not worth it. I, re I realized that I was destined to repeat my family's past unless I chose to go and rebuild a stronger foundation for myself, something that could actually support the life that I wanted, the, the dreams that I had. I had to go back and rebuild and find out where it was crumbling, weak, and faulty, and refortify that to build a stronger foundation that was really going to help me accomplish my dreams. I was reminded of the truck drive with my grandpa. He knew that I could be successful. He believed in me and knew that I could build a legacy, leading others to a more happy, fulfilling existence. But to do so, I was going to have to change my habits, my mindsets, and my beliefs about myself. I started to rebuild my foundation. I started to focus on negative self-talk that I was having and change all those negative things to positive phrases. Soon I began to actually start acting in ways that were consistent with my new foundation, rebuilding the structure of my life. And my income, my monthly income, went from $1,000 to $4,500, then up to $7,000 a month. It wasn't that I was actually doing more work, it was just that I believed in myself finally. I was finally financially confident. I'm able to be present with my family every day. I'm not worried about the, the financial stresses of the day. My time is more precious and fulfilling. I'm now building a life that I want, which is to have a meaningful relationship with my family. I'm now obsessed with strengthening my foundation every day. I'm living my legacy of helping others to strengthen their foundation. And as, I, as I've seen their lives change, they've now brought more peace and fulfillment into their life with confidence that they can achieve their financial future. Again, my name is Samuel Knickerbocker, and I'm helping others have the fuel to build their meaningful legacy.